well when he's here. Hola. Hola. <laughs> How are you, my friend? We yes. have sound. Yes. We have sound. Um, Jose, thank you so much for your patience. Uh, we had a little bit of difficulty with the sound there. I hope you're having an amazing day. Let me just tell everybody at home before we uh, start uh, your fantastic demo. Uh, we've got some uh, comments coming up on the bottom of the screen. Uh, we want them to see your gorgeous face and the food that you are preparing. So I'm just going to uh, reduce uh, those comments. Uh, everybody at home knows already that uh, they can still ask you questions. So we haven't uh, lost the ability to interact with them uh, already. But so uh, thank you for joining us. How are you, my friend? Uh, everything is great. The sun is shining and we have beautiful food to to cook and um, beautiful food for Peter and me to eat later. Sorry, guys, that you cannot taste, but um, <laughs> definitely they are very simple recipes that you can cook at home with no problem at all. Well, maybe some of them, but no, easy. Everything is very easy. Well, you... okay. I mean, you say it's very easy, but of course you're the godfather of Spanish cooking in the UK. <laughs> Oh, come on. You've got an extra special, but it's an amazing thing that you're showing. It's all about the produce uh, and it's all about the suppliers, yes? It's all about people. It's all about people. So many people saying to me, you know, every, all, the, all your ingredients are um, um, bio. They are, um, uh, how do you call that, uh, completely natural. And I say yeah. always, I do believe in the people. The people produce is the most, are the most important. Um, they are the more important for me, really. Um, yeah. You know, um, it's uh, all the love, all the love that you put, or they put in the ingredients, is what is going to go through the Absolutely. taste. Yeah. That's it. My mom always say the most important thing in life, in life is to put love in the food. And Isabel, for sure, she's looking. Hola, mama. <laughs> Hola. Yeah. Hi to everyone. Hi. There's, anyway, there's a, go there's a lot the... of love coming in. Say again? There's a lot of love coming in for you. <laughs> Life is love, my friend. Life is love. And um, for me, love is cooking. Cooking is love. Uh, what are we going to have? Gonna for you is um, two recipes. Well, one, because it's going to be tapas, then we are going to put everything in the middle. Um, it's a mackerel from Congo, some peas. And then some beautiful carabineros, they are not from Congo, they are from uh, Catalonia. And then we have some uh, butifarra negra uh, from Catalonia as well. And um, we are going to have some bresola that I thought to do uh, croquetas. But you know what? It's extremely good from my friend Tempus from Drew. Drew and we are going to just have as a tapa. Um, yeah. Very, very simple. We finish later. And uh, here the mackerel, what I did, I don't want to bear what's going on at the back, what I did is uh, marinate uh, last half an hour ago with this that I call ajillo. Yeah? And it's plenty of garlic. Yeah. I confit very slow the garlic and the, and the chili, fresh chili. I confit very, very slow for a very long time. Yeah? Yeah. Um, when it's uh, already nice and all the oils have all the beautiful flavors, the thing I do is uh, add some vinegar. In this case is uh, extra um, uh, reserva serve vinegar, Pedro Jimenez, giving some sweetness as well, and some parsley. Yeah? And then I just put that on top of the mackerel for half an hour before cook it. Yeah? And yeah. we are going to serve the mackerel and the carabineros with um, this gorgeous is going here. I have this caramelized onion already going on. Yep. And I'm gonna add some paste, beautiful paste. Yeah, like that. Lovely colors. Lovely colors. Lovely smell coming from the oil as well. Yeah, I'm gonna cook a little bit. Yeah, like that. And. Now, I'm going to add this carne. 
uh, is a, is a paste made with uh, can nyora. Nyora is a, a pepper that being uh, uh, how to say dry. And yes. the thing they do now, normally they, you um, take the rehydrate the, the pepper, and then you take it out all the flesh. What we do now, and it's easier, we just buy the carne de llora, like yeah. that, yeah? And, uh, and we, can we find out where you get that from? Okay. You can find in Brindisans, they sell it, my friend from Mevalco, they sell it, um, and very soon through my website. Oh. And what we do is just add this one, a little bit to the piece, like that, and cook. Yes, for one minute. Who's your amazing camera person? Say again. Who's the amazing camera person? <laughs> it's my gorgeous Peter. <laughs> hey, Peter. <laughs> and now we are going to add one thing that we love. In Spain, we love. And, uh, and it is very important for our cooking. It's pimentón de la vera. Yeah. Look at that color. It's a shame that you can not smell it because it's Fantastic. Everything that you use, you use in, is giving that lovely smoky flavor. Yeah. That goes so well with the really many, many things. And then would, we are a little bit. Jose, like that. Would, would that be added to uh, chorizo? Exactly. You add to the chorizo. You can do so many things with it. And um, you don't have even cook it. Now, in season, with the tomatoes are in season. Lovely slice of tomato, olive oil, salt, pepper, and just a little bit of uh, pimenton de la vera make everything a huge difference. Sounds good. Now, like that. This is all nice. Um, I'm gonna. Oh, one second. Sorry. Uh, okay. Okay, I'm gonna. I, um, I always run. Fino. Vino. I always run that quickly to the Vino myself, too. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I have to say, uh, I need to have always one bottle in my bag. My fridge, sorry. Okay, the thing with the Vino, what we do is just um, stop the pimenton get overcooked. If you overcook the pimenton, the lovely smoky flavor completely will go to really ugly and bitter, yeah? Yeah. We have this one. Over here, we have a beautiful um, artichoke that's been confit, yeah? Nice. Plenty of olive oil, lemon, uh, as you can see, some uh, peppercorns, different spices, the junipers, anything that you have in the cabinet, really. Yeah. And we, and we are going to add this wall to the piece, like that. And, you, and you're currently in London, is that right? Yeah, in London, we are just, uh, I think, eating far too much. <laughs> but the thing is, amazing time for myself to do some uh, research, do some um, new recipes, new ingredients, then um, I will go We'll go on the menu when we go back to the... Sure. And it's a real life, my friend. It is, indeed. And there's... Um, although there are terrible things uh, going on and, uh, you know, um, the, lots of people are taking a positive out of it, seeing as, a, as an opportunity to be creative, learn some new uh, recipes, techniques. And it's the way, my friend. Yeah. For, uh, in this life, so many people say to and I thought... We're just losing a little bit of sound. Um, we're just losing a little bit of sound from you. Uh, just make sure that you are. The, yeah, the microphone. Maybe, maybe you can hear. There you go. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, we have the piece. We have the caramelized onion. We have the, the uh, carne de ñora. We have the pimentón. All the smells, all the aromas. Is just have to say, fantastic. Now I'm so hungry. Have, some chicken stock. Look the color of this chicken stock. Like that. 
So rich. So rich and uh, full of flavor like Solvi, my friend. Uh, I stuck like that. Took me like maybe six, seven hours to do it. Yeah. And it's of the only way. Of the three restaurants that you have, which restaurant do you think this dish would fit in? All of them, even in the pub. You know I have a pub as well now. Yeah. I have a pub in Surrey, saying yeah. love to all my locals from Bermos as well, and from uh, the city, and from uh, Isha, Claygate. Hola. Anyway, we have the, um, the piece going on. Yeah. I'm going to show you something that is very popular in my restaurant, that is the Carabinero. Okay. Carabinero is uh, this one uh, I bought from my friend from Mebalco. Yeah, and um, they are from Catalonia. Yeah. And uh, they are, like you can see, they are raw. That beautiful red color. Amazing color. It's uh, stunning, it's stunning. And the flavor is just absolutely incredible. What we do is very simple. We have in a, in a tray. Like you salt it, did you salt the tray? I put salt in the tray, yeah? Like that. I'm gonna put some olive oil. What we do in the restaurant? In the restaurant, we take the cell from the, from the body out, yeah? yeah? And then we cook the head like that in the plancha, mm. you know? We cook the yeah. head like the plancha was that, and yeah. we um, keep this one out. And then we just, um, because the head that you can see is bigger, uh, take longer. But at home, the thing I do is just put the whole, the whole lovely carabinero in the oven. Yeah. 220 for four minutes. Like that. Wow, so high heat. In the oven. Perfecto. Now, we are going to put just a tiny, tiny oil in the pan. Because as you can see, you have more oil from the, from the marinade. Yeah. And you're always using olive oil, yeah? Always olive oil, my friend. I, I have to say, grapeseed oil is yeah. really, really good at the moment. And, and I use some for some um, recipes as well. But mainly for me, it's the uh, oil. Okay, so three minutes, this is going on, a little bit more stock. The pan is getting ready and hot. Like that. And it's time to put the macro. Okay, um, Jose, you're, yes. uh, you're an amazing, uh, vivacious, uh, person, do you think that your cooking style comes from you personally, or do you think it comes from the region where you're from? Um, I think my style, I was doing many, many years ago, I was doing uh, Michelin star food. I was a head chef in Spain uh, for one Michelin star. Very fancy, very amazing technique, very all of that. But when I arrived in London, I complete, well, I was doing a little bit of that type of cooking style, but then I changed completely back to my roots, back, yeah. back to what I was doing in the beginning when I started cooking. Yeah. Back to amazing ingredients, pure flavors, and uh, don't duck the food. Yeah. So I don't want to say the F word. Okay, fine. Good. Well said. Well said. And um, we, right we almost lost you uh, from food to dentistry. Do you think you still would have been a vivacious dentist? I think my friend, I'm very happy what I do now. Yeah. And uh, definitely, definitely will never ever go back to that. I did enjoy when I was studying, but I don't think we'll go back again to that. You know? Okay, please. Yeah, we'll please start. Through. Please start. Yeah. The rest of the marinade there. Like that. Now, for the piece, what I'm going to do. It's gonna add a little bit of the butifarra, nera. Yeah. Is that like a black pudding? Say again. Is it like a, a black pudding? Hey, it's like a black pudding uh, from Catalonia. 
they call butifarra they are. They have black, they have a white as well, taking the skin out. And just like that, with my hand, I'm gonna put on top. Okay. It's gonna doesn't need to be good for a long time. Just like this. I think we are ready. We got a little very soon, they are ready. The smell in the kitchen. I know, I'm so jealous. I can imagine the smell. <laughs> this is just wonderful. Okay, almost there. It's ready. Almost, almost. Carabineros are almost ready. Ah, okay. I forget something. Cut, uh, but look, listen. <laughs> I can imagine that Jose's just gone upstairs to change into a new outfit. Is that what? No, no, he's run outside to get some fresh mint, I think. Ah, OK. There right. he is. There he is. This is, is. is called, it's from, it's from Catalonia. This yeah. This is still. Not the mint. And I got some mint. Yeah. And I'm telling you, you don't need to watch it. I just, uh, yesterday night, I just uh, put all the water there, yeah. like that. OK. Ding dong, ding dong. Now it's time to start cooking. This is the, the caramelized onion. Look at that. How beautiful it is. Wow, has that been cooked really slowly? Very slowly. Took me more than five hours to do it. Wow. Plate is there. Uh huh. are ready as well. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm. Jose, your 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 food always looks amazing. And um, it, it reminded me of the illustrations in your cookbook. Your illustrations are, are really fabulous. Who do you work with on the cookbooks? Um, the, the, the photographer is from Emily. And Laura Edwards. Yeah. They're, yeah, the, they're unbelievable, like, beautiful, beautiful people. And the most important like thing them. is we have so much fun when we do it. Like that? Yeah. yeah. I think a little bit more because we are hungry. Mackerel is ready one. Like that. Um, Jose, I, t I turned the uh, comments off so we could see everything, but I'm going to see if anybody's got any questions for you. Are you okay for questions? Absolutely, my friend. Um, what's your favorite ingredient? And um, uh, yeah, what's your favorite ingredient? My favorite ingredient, I have to say, yep. has to be, I think, has to be olive oil. Great. Um, I grew up with the olive oil. Yeah. Was something that, um, you know, my mom always, uh, always uh, teach us, really. For us, uh, olive oil is, uh, is part of our blood, I have to say. Okay, and uh, yeah. Gail, Gail from... Uh, olive oil, paprika is very important for me. Saffron is very important for me yeah. as well. Like that. One question else? from Gail, Gail from AIDS. Were they frozen peas? Or did they you are frozen, frozen peas, yeah. Yeah, perfect. They and then, um, Alamanda wants, uh, to, nothing wants wrong you to go to Farnham. Peas. Nothing wrong at all. Look at these beauties. Wow. Four minutes. And then, Blesola, that is just fantastic. And My friends it. from Tempus, what they yep. do. Yeah, what they do is that they always eat for every single for pork and for beef, always use all animals. Yeah, and this is coming from very old cows, yeah. um, milky cows. That means that they have hard work, and the flavor of the meat is absolutely incredible. In yeah. Spain, we use quite a lot of that. This pig is what? Well, is something missing? Oh, yeah. I'm gonna do it just for that very simple. Look at that knife. Amazing. Where's that from? From my friend, SMB. Yep. 
Stefan plates, olive oil, plenty of pepper, if I can get it from here, yeah, yeah, no, 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 that one, have a last one, uh -huh. ah, better, that one, that one, that, um, that fish, the mackerel is from my friend from the CDC, they are doing an incredible work, job helping people from NHS as well. Yeah. And isn't it true, Jose, that they are sometimes delivering by bicycle? Say again? Isn't it true that the C the C are sometimes doing bicycle <laughs> deliveries? Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. <laughs> and, uh, Amazing. There's um, my friend uh, Leo Carrera, he's the second chef, and he's just a really, really wonderful people, so creative. And the fish is just like fantastic. What can I say? Amazing. Uh, <laughs> You've done uh, some wonderful combinations of flavors there, and you've really showcased not only your own passion, but also the passion behind the industry, the people who are producing amazing things. And uh, thanks to those suppliers for allowing us to uh, continue with yeah. uh, our, it's, uh, our it's work. It's time, it's time. I, said, I spoke to you yesterday, I say it's, um, it's time to to be with your suppliers, to be with the producers, to talk to them quite a lot now, to see what is new, what is uh, how the way we can help them as well in this, this difficult time. And um, yeah, it's a lot. Yeah, it's a lot of that. It's a lot. Of, it's all about flavors, my friend. It's yeah, nothing no, else. It, it's love. I'm so I'm so pleased. Uh, that we managed to spend some time with you in this lockdown situation. I think this is going to be uh, an idea that we can take forward. And uh, thanks for showing us into your wonderful home. Uh, thanks for showing your passion. Uh, I'm really taken by the guys at Tempest, both Drew and Tom. Uh, they're doing an amazing thing there for British Charcuterie, which is one of uh, my passions too, uh, award-winning. And um, thanks for uh, thanks thanks for showing the love. No, thanks, thank you guys because really, really, it's time to make money and give the money. You've done uh, some wonderful combinations of flavors. That I'm too.